We're on the phone today with the one and only Joey Belladonna, the singer for Anthrax, and also the band Beyond Frontiers. Joey, how's it going today? Yeah, Justin. Yeah, great afternoon, Andy. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Well, Joey, I know you're currently playing uh, shows with your band Beyond Frontiers. Can you tell the listeners a, a bit about the band and what it's all about? Hey, you know, this is a a band that's doing a night of journey music. Uh, it's something that, uh, that I thought was a great idea for myself vocally. I love the music. I've always liked Journey long before Journey had Steve Perry. Then when Steve Perry came around, I mean, I I fell deeper into the music, you know, more so than even uh, I could imagine, you know. So I enjoyed everything that, um, you know, about it. So I just thought it would be challenging. And to find a really great band, you know, out of Nashville. These guys were really great. They they um, they do a nice job with everything, and they're good people. And so it's just it's a really great great project for me musically and vocally you know yeah and i would say it's maybe seems strange on paper to uh, some of the fans out there who might only know you from uh, anthrax but i mean you guys are definitely the real deal well i thank you very much i mean definitely we're 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 aiming for everything that uh entails for a musical uh, i mean a band doing the music it, it's in, in its entirety you know that's uh, you know again without all the you know all the uniforms and stuff to go along with some of the tribute stuff which is fine but I, that wasn't what i was i wasn't trying to do all that all i really, really wanted to do is have a great band and do some really good music and even though i've done thrash you know it's just i've come from a long time being melodic and having uh, a vocal style that was uh you know in the in the more of a, a catchier uh, hookier way um, into blues and fusion and uh, progressive rock. You know, I like all kinds of music. So thrash really isn't. I get, I kind of get pinned into that. And even then, I've been different being in the thrash, but I sing different over that. So it's just sometimes it's weird for people to get their head around me doing the journey thing. I know it's a different kind of style. You know, some people are not into pop and rock and, you know, commercial stuff, but it's not even really that. I just I like the music. So. Excellent. Yeah. And as you mentioned, you're also with Anthrax, of course, and and that's been almost 40 years since you first joined uh, that band. Does it seem like 40 years ago to you? At times. And then there's been times at times it just uh, disappeared, you know? Um, Yeah. It's, uh, it's, but it's amazing too. When I, when I think back, we're still rocking, you know, we're still, I mean, we're as, as good as ever. I mean, I feel uh, that we are really got a great, great vibe as far as the live show i mean we really have a it's just there you know only missing one guy and that's you know where other people may only have one guy in the band left or sure. nobody in the band left you know and uh yeah and, and the music's it's pretty pretty brutal you know it's it's uh, it's moving it's uh it's challenging you know I know you've been in and out of uh, the band uh, a few times over the years, but you've been through a lot together, you know, over those years and you've influenced so many bands. What is the, the dynamic like for you guys now? It sounds like everybody's kind of firing on all, all cylinders and everyone's on the same page. Yeah. You know, we're definitely on the same page. You know, uh, we've always been very focused on the music and where the band needs to go and stay true to what we do. I mean, there's no reason uh, for, uh, I mean, actually, there's just no way we're going to do what we do if we didn't have all that focus and the determination that it takes to put it together, you know? Sure. Well, I've read you've been back in the studio here as of late. How has that been going? Are we going to maybe see a new album here down the road from Anthrax? Well, I'm sure there's going to be an album, you know? I mean, that that's way beyond that point now of, of guessing if there is any, any kind of... Uh, music being documented it's just you know everything is a little bit of step by step it's taken a long time regardless of you know the the circumstances of time time lapse but uh the music really it take it takes a little bit more thought than just kind of throwing it out on there and just winging it you know we really there's time spent but yeah there's a record being put together you know i mean without even really being able to give you any kind of uh, I mean, I'm not even have even so, said a word, you know, yet with it. So I'm I'm working towards that, 
that moment, you know. When it's time, I'll get in there and do my thing, you know. Excellent. Yeah. When it comes to that time, is there like a process or maybe a frame of mind you need to get into to to play this kind of music? I mean, back when you first started, you know, everybody's kind of young and, you know, angry and, you know, that music makes sense. But as you get older, maybe it's, uh, is it a little tougher maybe to, to get in that frame of mind? Not at all. It's a lot easier for me. I mean, I've, okay. I've countered every little move that I had throughout the years that may have, you know, early on, I didn't know the music, didn't know the band. Then, then you get that whole live feel going. And then you, then you take on the show after show after show, live shows and year after year. And then, you know, going in to do a record, it's always a different approach uh, musically and small, small bites of it. You know, obviously every song has its own little uh, twists and turns and what you can do with it, what you can't do with it. You know, uh, I kind of go in there and just I go in without any kind of expectations. I just know that I'm going to put my best effort to make something come out of that song with the riffs and have the coolest ideas that I could possibly do on it and have something that's just, you know, ear catching, you know, I mean, something that really kind of rocks you, you know, you know, when you get something, you pick it up and you're like, Oh man, this is awesome. I'm <laughs> digging this now, you know, and I can hear this over and over, you know, and the and production too is really important. I mean, that's a, that's been really Jay Rustin has done a fabulous job with us. I mean, he knows what we need and uh, how we do it. And he works with me, I mean, enormously well. That's one of my bigger things that I like because we connect and the music really comes together quite quickly and, and without any any uh, deep thoughts. You know, you just, some people maybe spend and overthink a lot of things. And I try not to do that, you know. Well, it's awesome news for the fans that uh, we could be getting that Anthrax album. I know you've done some solo stuff over the year as well. Is that something maybe we could see from you when you're not touring with Anthrax? Could we be maybe seeing some solo stuff on the side? Well, you know, there's, there's, there's here and there, you know, get people together like, Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Let's just do that, man. Maybe we can do that. Let's, let's get some ideas together. And a lot of stuff just kind of like, I don't know, for some reason, it's just like one of those plants you don't water. It just kind of seems to not get off the ground. Uh, nothing thorough. I mean, I had a bunch of ideas with people that just kind of fizzled just because of time and effort. You know, some people just, uh, I don't know. Yeah, but I love, I love, you know, obviously I'll have to do something solo. I mean, that's why, that's why I get, to, when I do the journey and then, and having some other, uh, you know, my jukebox thing that I do, Joey's jukebox, uh, uh, that I can do every band that I want to do and every song that I wish to do. And I can sing, sing for hours doing that. So I get so much out of that. But, uh, you know, original music would be pretty nice, you know, to be able to, put something together but you know with all this going on i don't i don't i don't really know <laughs> um but it would be neat to hear something you know quality solo thing everything i put out before is basically just demo stuff it's it never never was finished uh you know i think a lot of people thought there was like finished records and then they really weren't you know sure so well, yeah that's great that you guys are able to you know do the anthrax thing and then um kind of go off and, and do your own stuff and then reconvene and I know uh, Charlie's kind of been moonlighting, uh, playing drums with Pantera now. I want to ask you what you thought about that. I know some people think it's a bit polarizing, maybe. I think it's great for the fans, but um, have you had a chance to maybe see that at all? Oh, yeah. I, I was with him. Uh, uh, my wife and I were there at Mexico City the night before our show. Saw the first first Pantera off the ground, that, that lineup. And uh, then I seen him not too long ago, maybe about two, three weeks ago, tops and actually joined them on walk which <laughs> really wasn't much for me to do but it was fun to be up there you know um but yeah it's a great i mean come on it's fantastic you know the guys phil and rex i mean they they've done a lot over the years and it's it's just uh i mean it's a great thing you know for the fans you know definitely I'm happy for well you know i mean he loves to play that music he's it's a perfect perfect guy for the the music you know, and he loves to play drums, you know, and he does it well. Well, Joey, do you think uh, we'll see Anthrax back on the road here maybe or later this year or early next? I know you guys have done kind of some festivals here and there, but could we see maybe a tour coming up soon? Uh, I'm not really sure if you're going to see much this year. Um, 
it may uh may take a little bit of time for us to finish the record and get that going before we who knows you know sometimes you get an offer and you may you may venture out but at the moment i don't i don't know of anything offhand that i can bring to you <laughs> you know in other words you know times doing a record everybody's looking for something to get done so we're, we're really trying anything we can to get to that next level you know um but yeah looking forward to hitting the road that uh comes up when it when it's ready you know when the time is time is going to put us out there on the road you know sure we're in minnesota yeah i hear right yeah that's right we're in minnesota well what about those vikings come on we can't i mean what about the vikings <laughs> Yeah. Hey, are you you laugh like uh, are you a fan of the uh, the team? Uh yeah, but I'm sure as you know uh, we kind of uh, set ourselves up for a disappointment every year it seems, but uh, we're still we're still out there rooting for them. I am a fan, by the way. I'm a huge huge Viking fan. Uh, so I'm out I'm out for all of it right alongside you, you know. I didn't mean to, to deter from the music part of it, but Anytime I talk to somebody from Minnesota, I, I can't help but share a possibility and what, what, what their expectations are. I mean, I know it's, a, it's a, always an uphill battle, no matter what we do, sure. how we do it. Or I should say we, they. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, Joey, I wanted to ask you, I don't know if this is even on your guys' radar, but um, Anthrax in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Do you does that matter to you guys at all? Do you think that's something? I mean, obviously it's well deserved. Do you think that's something that might be coming up? You know what? The Hall of Fame is a. It seems like there's a long, long list of people that aren't even in yet, let alone us. Sure. I, you know, every once in a while, it, it it kind of you ponder the thought of it, but I don't sit around and dwell on that kind of stuff. It would be. You know, hey, anything you can get from the, your peers and people that have us in mind for the right reasons, I mean, sure. I mean, I, I, I welcome that. Uh, it would be very much of an honor. But at the same time, it's not anything we just sit around and, and wait for that to happen, you know. I mean, we're, we're happy to have even been nominated for Grammys and stuff like that and, you know, medal awards and things like that. And that's, that's nice, you know, too, because it's a fan fan base, you know. So, or whatever, but yeah, I don't, I don't really quite think about it too much. Well, I think something way better than the rock hall and, you know, all the awards, um, you guys being part of one of the, uh, one of the best moments in television, I think being on married with children. I wanted to ask you your, your memories of that. Yeah. Well, you know, all I know is when I wasn't really familiar with the show that much. And then when we had a chance to go, it's like, holy cow you show up on a day on a Monday and then start reading the script and you're kind of like clueless and you watch the rest of the cast is zip through their stuff. Like it's nothing. And finally you start getting your lines and then, you know, shoot to Friday after you do a few run throughs throughout the week, you know, you do two live shows. It was, it was really awesome to be a part of the show. I mean, it was an honor. Everybody was there digging on the moment. It was a good episode. I thought it was pretty funny. Well-written. And I don't know, it just gave us a chance to have some fun and, you know, Hey, it's television, right? Yeah. I will say that's one thing about anthrax. Um, you guys have never been afraid to, to branch out and, you know, whether it's married with children or, you know, working with public enemy or, you know, any of the different things you guys have uh, taken on, uh, definitely a uh, trailblazers for sure. Yeah. You know, uh, I don't think there's an end to those possibilities for us because I think we're, we're definitely open to, the possibilities of cool, cool, different swings in our, in our game, you know, we're looking for it here and there, you know, everybody's adventurous about what they like and where their eyes and ears go to, you know, we're not just music only where there's a lot going on with the band, you know, a lot of intriguing minds. Well, Joey, I know you mentioned a lot of stuff going on for you present day here. Is there anything else maybe in the works or, or something else we should be watching out for? Yeah, I got a, I got another 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 thing going to be coming up alongside the Beyond Frontiers uh, lineup. We've got another thing we're going to put together. Um, it's getting pretty close to announcing it. Um, I'm going to be 
psyched to be able to do that. You know, I got the new website out at JoeyBelladonna.com. You can take a peek at all that stuff where where all that info will go up. You know, and, um, you know I just just really try to keep keep up with my craft and keep busy. And you know, as we speak, I just keep uh, working at that. You know, that's my main main thing. Um, it's just it's an uphill battle every day. You know, you just got to keep, keep plugging, you know, keep, keep pushing along, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs. So you have to remain. I mean, I, I didn't get into it to get out. I, I stayed in it. You know, I've always been into the music, even while I was out of the band, which wasn't really my call. You know, that was something else uh, chosen by other people, but I, I always remain stern and get, keep pushing ahead to get something done, you know? Awesome, man. Uh, Joey, I'm a huge fan, and it's been an honor speaking with you today. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Dustin. I really appreciate your time. Thanks a lot. I'm looking forward to everything that's coming up, and hopefully we can speak again sometime. Yeah, uh, thank you, and uh, go Vikes. And again, that was the one and only Joey Belladonna from Anthrax and Beyond Frontiers. Check out everything he's got coming up at joeybelladonna.com.